Hey, what's up, guys? Um, six four ball gloves here. Back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing a glove collection. Um, some people have requested, so um, yeah, let's get straight to it. The um first glove. Hold on. I forgot a baseball. Okay, so we got my Ripken um, Experience Trophy Ball. So the first glove is my 44 Pro. It's my first ever, ever nice glove. It's my 44 Pro um, Catcher's Mitt. Um, get the glove locks on, you know. Always got to have those on. And uh, gray palm, gray web, black snake skin on it. Green and orange theme. I I I like it. It's my team colors for a travel ball. And uh yeah. Uh, the orange welting. I've got to say 44's orange welting or orange welting in general. It's kind of like a weird color color after a bit. Like, see, it doesn't really. It's like kind of weird. Of like, it's like kind of a darker. It darkens, like. I'll pop up a quick picture of it before, um, when I first got it. So, yeah, it kind of, it's kind of a different color than, like, the stitching and stuff. So, I probably should have gotten green binding, orange choices. But, it doesn't really bother me, so, uh, yeah. The next glove we have here is my, uh, the Wilson A2000 OT6 SS, standing for Super Skin. Um, here's the break in on it. It's going to be my outfield gamer. Depends on how much outfield I play. Whether I want to trade it. Here, I'm going to get my toe out of frame. Um, if I don't play a lot of outfield this year, then I'll just trade it for like, maybe a harder hide or something. But yeah, super nice, great leather. The lace on this pattern is really, really thin. So yeah, that's just kind of a thing I don't like. I dig the lick, the lick, what? Uh, the look of the trapeze web. I'm not quite sure how it plays. I do tin pinky uh, finger out. So what, it's what's comfortable. And, uh, yeah, gray super skin really pops. Obviously got the, um, the glove locks. The laces are on here also really short, so you can't really click them. But, uh, yeah. The next glove I have here is my, um, oh, hold on, never mind. Ball and pocket for this glove. It's a decently deep pocket for a catcher's mitt. Almost swallows it. And then, for this glove, swallows it. Really nice pocket on this for outfield. Okay, so for, this is my 44 denim crown tip. I got this before, right before they um, changed the crown tip. Got it for Christmas this year. And um, yeah, it's got eye web spiralways. I, I dig the spiralways. Uh, oil chestnut and denim. Um, many people get oil chestnut and tan mixed up, so this is oil chestnut. Got the white glove locks. Um, I got to turn the pinky finger out. Once it gets more broken in, I'll switch to uh, traditional. This is traditional, and um, yeah, has my name, Michigan. I I like this leather patch, and then the gold palm stamping. It's wearing a little bit, but um. Here's a ball and pocket. Wizard, you know. Just 
Barry spells it, and here's traditional. There's your way pocket traditional. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this glove. Here is my um, 44 Pro 574 model, um, 11.5 inch uh, 44. So it's all black, blue, and red accents. Um, um, not a whole lot to say about this glove. Uh, I would, you know, I um, it's breaking in pretty well. Uh, finger pad. This is just a piece of leather. It's not like drawings. How they have like, it's like really soft and stuff. It's just plain old leather. Uh, lace quality on this, it's really nice. Uh, not see, not like drawings nice. They're nice and thick, but just kind of like crispy. You know? Like here. Yeah. Um, So here's a ball and pocket. Really shallow pocket. Go to the pink finger and um uh, yeah, it's just still getting broken in, so there's a really huge pocket yet. Next is my uh, beater. It's my Wilson 8500. 1786 model. Uh, I just recently relaced the wrist of it, make it a bit tighter. Really nice for the price. 1786 is easily like one of my favorite interior patterns. Here's a ball pocket. So pinky. That's what I go with this. It's kind of like a kind of a non-breaking. I just realized that's why it's super stiff. Holds its shape. Take care of your gloves. Even my beater holds its shape. So, oops. Um. Yeah. So. Really nice. Kind of. Kind of a sucky glove, to be honest. Uh, but you definitely are getting what you paid for. This thing, you can find them for like 40 bucks. At like Dunham's or something. They're on sale or something. So, yeah. All right, so for the next glove, it's a um, Under Armour catcher's glove. I just pull on these. This is my bullpen glove, that way. My 44 Pro catcher's mitt stays in perfect condition. Uh, it's, here's a bomb pocket. I got traditional on it. And, uh... Not a whole lot to say about this golf. Got it for like 80 bucks. Kind of small. Runs pretty small. But for the price, it is well worth it. Great leather. I'd say this is about as good as a GG Elite. For the price, it's better. But for the price. Um. We'll not move this unless makes someone makes a good offer. Um, yeah, so it's got a really nice fur in it. I'm kind of, it's kind of like fading a bit though, like right here. It's getting pretty bad. Um, so here's a ball and pocket. Yeah, this is my bullpen glove, so, yeah. Next is my uh, primed infield pancake trainer. Here's your ball and pocket. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, 
So, not a whole lot to say about this, you know. Great for the price. I used it for the past two seasons. Really nice. Durable. Gets those quick hands. You know. And, uh, yeah. A little bit of an uh, honorable mention is this glove that I'm uh, breaking in for a friend. It's a 44 Pro Classic Series um, softball glove. Here's a baseball ball in pocket. Complete with it. I don't have a softball, but um, here's the break in. It was Pro Stiff two days ago. Brand new two days ago. This is what I got so far. So, um, if you want to break and just hit my DMs at 64 Ball Gloves on Instagram. So, uh, I'll, I'll actually link it down below. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And um, see you guys next time. Peace.